Good morning, ESM. Today we are talking about some odd breed of animal. More on that after news and announcements. Yesterday, a sculpture of former NBA star Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gigi Bryant was brought to the site of the helicopter crash where they perished along several other others two years ago. Sculptor Dan Medina was standing to the great fans who made 1.3 mile hike to pay their respects. The 160 pound statue decides the repair of um, wearing ba basketball uniforms, sharing a loving glance as Gigi holds Kobe's hand as it rests on her shoulder. The name of the nine victims are engraved on the statue's pedestal along with descriptions of Bryant's famous quote, heroes come and go, but legends are forever. On Wednesday in Fulton, one person was found dead. Emergency services were called at 5.20 p.m. to a fire on 121 West 1st Street South. When first responders approached the scene, the house was engulfed in flames and a man was found dead. The Oswego County Management Office is investigating the fire. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. ESM Choir presents the Snow Day Coffee House will take place at Pine Grove Middle School on January 28th, Friday, from 7 to 9. Tables are available for purchase, and one seat is $10, or $60 for an eight-seated table. All proceeds are going to the ESM Choir Club, and there will be food and drinks available for everyone. There are also great raffle baskets, so bring cash or a check to purchase tickets. It'll be Spartan. <coughs> It'll be Spartan Pride Day for all three lunches on Friday. We will play Spartan Pride trivia games and have prizes for the top three winners. You can play on our phone or computer. Pride for professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. Yogis of ESM will meet today in the library after school. Mats will be available to borrow. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. The weight room will be closed Friday morning. Please see Coach X Bacher if you have any questions. So we heard of guinea pigs before, right? Definitely, and there are other varieties as well. Normally short hair, floofy hair, and even fancy majestic long-haired guinea pigs. That's true, but what about this odd looking thing? I've never seen one of those. This is a skinny pig, a hairless guinea pig breed. The reason for them being hairless is because of, res of a recessive gene. If you're going to take care of a skinny pig, there are some things you need to know. One of those things is that because they have a high metabolism, they drink and eat more often than your average guinea pig. And because they eat and drink so much, they, m m they make more messes, so you may have to clean their cages a bit more often than your normal guinea pig cage. Another thing to note is their delicate skin. Their skin is only protected by their skin oils, so keep them away from direct sunlight. Also, they should only be bathed if needed. However, wiping them down with coconut oil is a great substitute, but just leave them be if their skin looks perfect. We'll talk more questions after weather. Today we will have a high of 29 and a low of 6. Tomorrow we will have a high of 25 and a low of negative 2. Saturday we will have a high of 11 and a low of 3. And I'm Abby with your Thursday morning weather. Now you're asking, can skinny pigs live, can skinny pigs live with normal hair, hairy guinea pigs? Yes, yeah, skinny pigs can live with haired guinea pigs. Skinny pigs are basically the same species, but just a different breed. The only difference is that they have specific, require, specific requirements we were just talking about. One of those things to note is because skinny pigs are obviously hairless, they can get cold. So they need to be kept warm. Recommended temperature is around 72 to 76 degrees. You need to give them a warm fleece bed to go into. You may also need a heating bed under their bed as well, or at least a portable heater. Let's now head on over to sports. The 
The wrestling team won on their senior night versus Auburn, 48 to 10. All seniors on the wrestling team won, which are John Alloy, Collins Weisler, and Ryan Lillo. Last night, the girls volleyball team lost to New Hartford, 3 and 1. Boys basketball team beat Whitesboro, 49 to 42. Aiden Betts led the team with 17 points, and Usman Kalkan was close behind with 13 points. Girls and boys bowling has a match at 3.30 at Syracuse City. Boys and girls track have their league championship meet at the SRC Arena at 4. Girls basketball plays at home against Fulton at 7.15. And I'm Aiden with your sports. Well, I hope you had a... Oh, wait. Oops. Yeah, I hope everyone has a great day. So if you're going to take care of a skinny pig, make sure you use the facts we told you about for the best care possible. That's all the time we have for today. So from me, Jade, and everyone else in the morning show, have a great day.